This is Bill Appleton from Dream Factory Software with a short movie about Snapshot, our release management product. You can use Snapshot to manage the metadata in your Salesforce account. Not the data, but the metadata, all of the customizations that you've made to your account, including custom objects, profiles, page layouts, and workflows. You can use Snapshot to compare changes in the metadata in your account over time or to compare differences between your sandbox and production org. You could look for changes before and after something has been installed or developed in your account. So this is a vital tool for compliance and also for keeping your Salesforce account running properly. You can use Snapshot to push metadata from one org to another org, for example, between sandbox and production. So this is a vital tool for saving lots of time when you need to promote changes between your orgs. You can merge parts of multiple orgs and you can synchronize developer sandboxes with the production org. S Snapshot supports a wide variety of metadata assets. We have Apex classes, components, pages, and triggers. Everything about custom objects, including record types, validation rules, and web links. Everything about profiles, including object permissions and field level security. All of your custom assets, like applications, labels, sites, and tabs, everything about your home page, page layouts, report types, S controls, and workflows. We can even move reports and dashboards from one account to another. So without further ado, let's take a look at Snapshot. Snapshot can be used to show different objects in two different Salesforce accounts side by side. Everything that's the same in these two orgs is shown in black. Everything that's different is shown in red. You can also see that one org has custom objects that the other org does not. If you click on an object, you see all of the interior differences. Some fields are missing from the one account and not from the other. If you click on a particular field, you see the differences inside that field. For example, the industry pick list has some different pick list values in these two orgs. Snapshot can also be used to browse the entity relationships in any account. For example, accounts are connected to account shares. Snapshot can also be used to compare profiles in your account. The profiles are listed down the left hand side of this table. Across the top is every object and custom object in your account. For each object you can see whether it has no access or that profile can create, read, edit, and delete the object. You can not only look at object permissions, but field level security. In this view, you can see where every field is either hidden, editable, or locked. You can also look at record type visibility. This shows which profiles can see or not see which record type in the org. Now let's take a look at the asset snapshot view this is a very powerful way to get a bird's eye view of all of the customizations in your Salesforce account. You can look at Apex classes, components, pages, and triggers, everything about custom objects, everything about profiles, all of the other custom assets and applications, sites, and tabs, everything about your home page, letterheads, page layouts, report types, S controls, static resources, and workflows. You can also search all of this information very, very quickly and find um, any particular field name or object name that you need to find. You can also compare asset snapshots side by side. For example, in these two orgs we're looking at the difference in the search layouts. Search layouts that are the same are in black and the different ones are in red. You can see in each one of the managed packages which objects have search layouts, which ones are different and which ones are the same. Lastly, you can push any group of selected assets from a snapshot into any production org. So for example, we could select some standard objects and custom objects that we wanted to push. We could select some profiles, custom applications, any other object that we wanted. Let's get some workflows. And once we've built up a job list, we can choose to either check for errors without actually making any changes, 
roll back all changes if there is an error, or change everything possible and ignore errors. And then just by clicking the push button, we will push those assets from one org into another org. And just like that, all of these customizations have been applied to the destination org. Thank you for watching this brief movie about Snapshot, our release management product. More information is available at www.dreamfactory.com. Snapshot is available for download and purchase at the App Exchange, www.appexchange.com.